Welcome back to the Wholesome Feed. So a question that I get all the time, and I mean, I get this question constantly, is if you're flying with your newborn, with your baby for the first time, what do you have to do, have to bring to make it a little bit less crazy and stressful for you? And you know, the good news is it's easy. You don't have to spend a ton of money on things. You don't have to spend a ton of research. It can be simple to just have a good flight with your baby. I started flying with my son when he was a little baby. Um, and these little tips really helped me. So if you're breastfeeding, woo, go Donna's. Good job, mama breastfeeding for however long works for you. Breastfeed when the door is closing as the airplane pressurizes. Uh, feed on takeoff and landing. So you wanna be breastfeeding, having them suckling directly, getting milk on takeoff and landing because that's gonna help with air pressure changes. When your ears are popping, it's really going to help your child not scream because if they start the flight off screaming or get off the airplane screaming, it's going to continue, right? They get hysterical and it feeds into their stress, right? So feed when the doors lock, feed on takeoff, feed on landing, and make sure that they're actually drinking and swallowing because that's going to help with the pressure change and the earache that they're going to get, right? Because they can't open their mouth and do that kind of stuff that we do to pop our ears, that's gonna really, really help. It's gonna set the flight off on the right direction and it's gonna get landing, getting your rental car, getting home, getting the taxi. It's really gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, I have been mocked for this. I still do this. My son is just now four. Um, I gate check our stroller because I know that we're gonna be pushing through the airport. He's gonna be overwhelmed. He's gonna wanna be in that bubble. And I want to just be able to push him to the gate and back. And sometimes he'll walk around a little bit, but generally he's a little overwhelmed. And your baby is going to want to be cocooned in there, safe. Um, and your back is going to thank you for not just baby wearing your 25 pound baby around everywhere, right? If your baby is very small, absolutely you can baby wear. As a heads up, um, airplane, the flight crew will let you um, baby wear very much. In fact, I don't think I've ever had a flight crew let me baby wear um, when they are taking off and landing because they think it's a risk that the baby might get like crushed in turbulence or something. So heads up, be prepared to keep them on your lap, which I always think is a little silly. I'm like, they're much safer in the baby wrap than the, my lap, but okay. So if you decide to not do the stroller and you're going to baby wear, just be aware. You know, you aren't going to be able to baby wear them during takeoff and landing. But gate check that stroller. Oh my goodness, I stuck in all our carry-on bags onto the stroller too. So I'm like, ah, nothing's on my back. My shoulders thank me. My neck thank My spinal alignment says, good job, Rose. You're rocking the straddle business. Uh-huh. This tip has taken me a lot of trial and error. It's taken me a lot of stupidity on my end to figure out. But bring a soft pillow for your lap. And you're thinking, well, I want to put a soft pillow on my lap. Because if you have a little baby, you are going to be breastfeeding it. You're going to be holding it and rocking it. And oh my goodness, your back is going to twinge. I actually pulled my back out like a little old lady on a flight because I was holding my son so much and I didn't bring a pillow. I didn't bring anything to really hold him properly with. My poor back just seized it up. It was horrible. So bring a pillow. Um, I bring my little travel pillow that's just hanging around. It's a breastfeeding pillow that I designed. It's um, it's linked in my Sazzle shop, actually. You can order that. That is the right size for me, but bring a pillow for you. For you to hold them in, sit them in. You know, they can have a little tummy time on the pillow. Uh, you can rest your back a little bit. It can help you breastfeed. It can help them sleep in your arms without pulling on your shoulders and your neck and misaligning your back, right? It really does help. So bring a little pillow. It doesn't have to be huge. It can be whatever you're comfortable with carrying and it makes a gigantic difference. This is really helpful if you have a husband or a wife or a partner that you are traveling with with your baby for the first time. Um, send them on ahead. They get to go in first. They take all the bags with them. Um, that can be the point where they gate check the stroller so you're only holding the child for a little tiny bit and if this is your first flight, odds are probably they're a little tiny baby, right? So it's not gonna be too long to hold the baby. Um, they get the seats all ready. And then you come in and it really does help to organize and kind of lay out the labor so that it's evenly divided and not everybody is just chaos and getting in and you know bags whacking the baby on the head and then they're crying right so have somebody go on ahead take all the bags get the seats ready and then boom you're ready and set to go it makes a big difference in just the
the level of chaos, right? Traveling with a baby, traveling with small children, a lot of what causes stress is the chaos, and then we get stressed out as moms and dads, and then, oh dear goodness, do the children feed off of that. So when you can keep the stress levels low, it works so much better. As always, I always recommend also bringing a baby carrier. I love my baby Ergo. Um, I've also used a ring sling that I really loved because having that just in your bag, uh, stuffed in the stroller, you never know when baby is gonna get grumpy on the flight and it gives you a chance to walk up and down the aisle baby wearing so that your arms aren't so tired. Um, I always think that's really helpful to have. It's nothing that you're gonna maybe be wearing, baby wearing the whole flight, right? Baby's gonna wanna come out, sit on that pillow, look around, drink, cuddle you, but it can make a big difference. And mom and dad can baby wear, so it can give mama a break too. If you just need to eat a snack and have a little bit of juice or something, right? That's really helpful. So delegating labor while you're traveling with your baby for the first time is a huge one. Letting everybody have a moment to listen to some music and calm down and then take turns. Being able to talk with baby, right? Being able to share that is wonderful, but it's also really valuable to give each other space, knowing that it's stressful for everyone to fly, for baby and for mom and dad, right? So just delegate that and realize that it's okay to have quiet time individually, and then take turns really focusing on your little baby for their first flight. Until our next video, I will see you on my other channel here on YouTube. I will see you all over my Instagram. As always, check out um, the links down below in my description box. Down there, yep, yeah, you just hit more details, boom. It links to my uh, nonfiction research book that is all about gentle parenting and breastfeeding from just, you know, day one all the way through self-led weaning. Um, it covers the whole thing of breastfeeding tips, breastfeeding comebacks, facts that are really helpful to know, tips, all your breastfeeding positions that you can use on airplanes, you can use at home. It's a really handy guide to read through. Until next time, hey, thank you all so much for subscribing and growing this, this lovely, beautiful, wholesome feed family. It's so wonderful to be a part of on here. I'll see you all around. And hey, thank you so much for subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm.